Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely hilarious. So Chuck Schumer hasn't had enough. So Democrats, they did not state their case uh, during the House impeachment proceedings. They did not. Okay. They had a whole bunch of four or five diplomats without direct knowledge, without evidence that Trump committed a crime, mainly without evidence that he withheld money specifically because he was afraid of the no malarkey bus tour. And there was absolutely no reason, no conflicts of interest regarding the vice president's son. Absolutely no conflicts of interest at all. No evidence that D the DNC reached out to the Ukraine and actually uh, obtained information detrimental to Trump's campaign, which there is there there is evidence, and this was already documented in Politico in 2017. They did. You had DNC operatives who did reach out to the Ukraine and obtain information that was harmful to both Manafort and President Trump. So this has definitely happened. Already documented in Politico and The Hill. But they want... That's not enough. So the House did not state its case. Um, latest polls show most Americans do not want to remove the president. Nobody knows what this is about. Watergate was about a break-in and a cover-up. Uh, Bill Clinton... Oh my goodness, I don't even know what that was about. Bill Clinton was about, you know what, and then he lied under oath about it. This is about a phone conversation where they cannot prove that President Trump withheld money. And and, and what they say is, well, no, uh, Vice President Biden, he's on video talking about uh, withholding money from the Ukraine because the Ukraine is so uh, uh, withholding money until a prosecutor gets fired because that prosecutor wasn't prosecuting uh, the corruption. There's so much corruption there. That's okay for them. And then Trump, President Trump's like, oh, yeah, we withheld the money because uh, of the corruption there. We wanted to make sure that the money went into uh, the hands of the people that, uh, you know, the government uh, wanted to make sure there was no corruption involved with us giving, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, that, no, 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 they don't believe that. <laughs> for Biden, oh, yeah, he fired the prosecutor because of corruption. For Trump, no, 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 you can't believe that he with, he would withhold money to ensure that a nation known for corruption um, uh, receives the money in, in a, an appropriate manner. Anyway, Schumer wants now, he says he, there's 51 votes, P, uh, Republicans have spoken to him privately, and there's 51 votes needed for a Dem Democratic witness list. So he wants to continue the impeachment. He doesn't want the trial to just be uh, all President Trump's uh, you know, time in the sun. So Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he is confident the Senate would vote to call up witnesses and documents he requested for a January trial weighing articles of impeachment against President Trump. Any, any Republican who votes for witnesses when, when this is like even worse than a Supreme Court. This is like even, not really, but this is even more monumental than a Supreme Court nomination. And you, you, have, you have people, it could be Mitt Romney, it could be Susan um, uh, Collins. You have people who are just so, so, I mean, you cannot have anyone defect because you would need 51 votes to ensure that Schumer doesn't get witnesses. So the Senate trial, theoretically, was only supposed to be McConnell's witnesses, which would be hilarious. Biden, the intelligence operative, Hunter, Adam Schiff would be hilarious. And I think that's what's going to happen. They, they're going to want to interview these people already. McConnell, and check out the segment prior to this, McConnell has already stated he wants, um, a lot of Republicans have stated he, they want Biden, they want a whole bunch of people. But now Schumer is like, oh, well, uh, Schumer, a New York a Democrat, told reporters in a new news conference Monday his request for testimony from former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Well, what's John Bolton going to say? Who cares? So John Bolton's going to say, yeah, he wanted to pressure Ukraine. So what? You can have a whole bunch of people saying the same thing. He's a disgruntled former employee. And just like, what, you know, other... Uh, and the diplomats and ambassadors who don't like Trump, but 
see, the thing is, what he did is very sly. What he did was Schumer said, well, they might even give exculpatory evidence. Marie Ivanovich, one of the impeachment witnesses, actually gave exculpatory evidence saying that President Obama's administration gave her talking points because they knew the conflicts of interest that Biden and his son had. And so they, they, the talking points wa- uh, was if, if anyone, if the Republicans bring up Hunter Biden to say, well, we're going to refer that to the vice president's office, we'll refer that question and the answer will come from the vice president's office. Well, there you go. They, the President Obama's administration already knew of the conflicts of interest. Then Dr. Fiona Hill stated that uh, the Ukraine um, all, you know, picked the wrong candidate. The, one of the impeachment witnesses stated the Ukraine picked the wrong candidate, meaning the Ukraine, and she explained that the Ukraine wanted Clinton, or Ukrainian officials wanted Clinton, okay? Basically bolstering the notion that they interfered in the election. Now, with Democrats, if you say that, it's like, oh my God, it is, it's in the Bible. It's in the, go- it's the gospel that Russia interfered in the election. No, they didn't. The, the same impeachment witness, Dr. Fiona Hill, says, oh, well, you know, Russia interfered. And if you don't believe that Russia interfered, you're believing current Russian propaganda by Putin. So you have to believe that Putin interfered. How did he interfere? Well, um, you know, he was a widespread, it was a technological savvy, and, and adva- it was Facebook ads, and it was the DNC hack. They won the pop- Clinton won the popular vote. How did they interfere? The interference goes only to the swing states. We have no clue how many people were altered by Facebook ads that nobody saw. The whole thing's nonsense. Russia did not interfere in the election. That is, that's the, the truth. Okay. First of all, the intelligence community isn't even certain that Russia, that the Kremlin ordered uh, the, that, that corporation to purchase Facebook ads, that most of which were seen after the election. And then the, the, the intelligence community is not certain that the DNC was hacked. They're highly confident. They've confirmed their highly confident assessment. So then you have this semantic play this, this, this propaganda and semantic play where they're like, well, you know, the United States intelligence community has confirmed their, okay, they don't say they've confirmed their confidence level, they just say has confirmed, along with a bipartisan uh, congressional, uh, dis, uh, you know, proclamation. They've all confirmed, Congress and the intelligence community has only confirmed the intelligence, well, three agencies, because it wasn't 17, it was only three, three agencies being highly to moderately confident any of this even took place. Remember Bush's failed foreign policies that affected the lives of millions, millions upon millions adversely? That was an intelligence failure. The Gulf of Tonkin, okay, an intelligence failure. The Bay of Pigs, an intelligence failure. Okay, these are U.S. history, okay? Even in 1898, the USS Maine uh, wasn't sunk by Spain. So even before these intelligence um, agencies, you just, you can look, and where has the intelligence, like, my God, have they been right about anything? They couldn't predict uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall, okay? Um, Oh, yeah, President Obama's um, failed NATO intervention, that was also an intelligence failure, Okay, we said, oh, well, if we remove this uh, authoritarian, uh, we'll save the human lives. And no, you didn't. You made things worse, much worse, much worse. So, anyway, the point is, they want Bolton. This is hilarious. And White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney and two other officials who would win approval from the Senate where Republicans outnumber Democrats 53 to 47. So... Um, you would need, what, one or two people, no, one person, one or two people, to defect. I, I, any person that, any, any person, whether it's Romney or Collins or what, should be, let, you just, I don't even know what, you can't really, you can't, you can't, there's nothing that you can do, uh, from a political sense, but, I don't know. 
But that would be the absolute worst thing because for, not for Trump, because at the end of the day, you have Mulvaney and you have John Bolton. What do they have? They don't have anyone. They, I mean, what does Schumer have? It's all smoke and mirrors. What's John Bolton going to say? Um, he's not going to say anything because he didn't, Trump didn't do anything wrong. You think Trump, who doesn't like John Bolton anyway, is going to say, I'm really afraid. Homeless walrus, listen to me. I'm really afraid about the uh, no malarkey bus tour. Oh, my God. You know, if, Bi if Biden can fight cornflakes, that means he could completely remove me from the picture. No, he's not going to say that. Bolton is like, you know, disgruntled. But the issue here is you're going to get the votes at least for Mitch McConnell's. Uh, you'll, you'll get the 51. You'll get the votes needed, my God Almighty, for Mitch McConnell. I don't even, who knows if he even needs the votes because he they run, they run the Senate. But he if there's a vote for uh, Biden and, and everybody else, Adam Schiff, they'll get the votes. Because the Senate trial is not just a trial of Trump. It's a trial of the Republican Party. They, they understand this. They, once Trump gets impeached, they are going to realize everyone in the Republican Party, especially even Mitt Romney, because he's running in 2024. This is an, an impeachment not of Trump. This is an impeachment not only of Trump. It's an impeachment of the Republican Party. The, Democratic, the Democrats in the House have not passed Medicare for All or abolishing ICE or Green New Deal or abolishing student debt. They don't care about any of that stuff. They're deceiving impressionable idealistic progressive voters to funnel them back into to funnel them back into the um into the um into Clinton 2020 that's that's the only thing they're going to do that's the only thing they're doing um but the only thing the democrats in the house want is to remove the president they don't care about legislation then you have like li these liberal publications, like, oh, they've passed a lot of bills. Yeah, but that's not they're not they haven't passed the bills that they uh, they haven't passed any um, policy objectives that got them into the house. Okay, they pl they promised a whole oh my god Medicare for all, all that they haven't worked they haven't passed the bill and don't say that like well it takes time. It's like <laughs> you have people who have devoted their lives like channels that are millions and millions of subs to medicare for all okay everyone knows everyone knows the benefits of it okay i think that it's not feasible the mercatus study says it's not feasible it's noble not feasible okay for 320 million americans but if it is then why aren't democrats voting ah that's right because they don't care because they're, they're using it like i said only to funnel progressive votes back into clinton 2020 the impeachment is for clinton it's not for biden Biden, okay, who benefits when people say, oh, yeah, Clinton, yeah, right, right. Who benefits politically? Ask yourself, who benefits politically from the Mueller probe? Not Biden, Clinton. Who benefits politically from this hilarious impeachment of a phone conversation where nothing bad happened? Literally nothing bad happened. The notion, by the way, that Biden shouldn't be investigated, well, get him and Hunter and, and, and anyone involved uh, to testify, because there's already documentary evidence. There's already evidence that says that there's a conflict of interest. Plus, he lost a paternity case, and the lady uh, wants to know um, how much he was paid from Burisma and went, you know, in aggregate, which is hilarious, because you're going to look at what millions of dollars. Where'd the money go? Well, if you if you read the New York Post, it went uh, it went to yeah, a lot of interesting activities. So, anyway, give me your thoughts below. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. And this is hilarious. Schumer wants <laughs> Bolton to testify. And, and it's up to Republicans to not, well, it, either way, it doesn't matter, but if, 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 if Bolton testifies, it's actually going to hurt Republicans, Gen not, not just Trump. It won't hurt Trump, but it'll really, really hurt Republicans because they'll look like complete and utter buffoons. They, okay, Schumer had his chance. The, the Democrats had their chance to, to push their weak 
theories about why Trump should be impeached. Most Americans don't want to be removed. Most Americans, especially independents, don't even care and are, and are, and are actually, um, they don't like impeachment. They oppose impeachment. And that's after listening to all the nonsense. You had a bunch of diplomats who were like, oh, yeah, Trump did this. Everyone's like, eh, okay, what are that? Okay. There's no evidence of anything. There's no evidence of a crime. Only the, the, in the minds of Democrats, um, influencing an election a year from now is, is a crime because any influence against their uh, pristine viewpoint is a crime. Give me your thoughts below. Um, check out H.A. Goodman's other channel. Write this.